Adobe's free Photoshop camera app uses AI to touch up your photos and add cool filters before you even touch the shutter button. Today I'm going to show you how to make great photos with Photoshop camera. Adobe has had mobile apps for touching up photos for a long time, but Photoshop camera is the first one really geared towards social sharing. Yes, a lot of these lenses look like filters you'd see in Instagram or Snapchat, but Adobe says their AI-powered app can give you more control over the results. No Photoshop experience needed. At first glance, Photoshop Camera looks like any other standard photo app. You've got a menu up top for aspect ratio, flash, and other settings. You can switch from the rear camera to the selfie camera, and there's a big button down here to take a picture. You can open up the gallery down here to see the photos taken in the app, or to pick one from your camera roll. Photoshop Camera will automatically try to optimize your photo and you can toggle that on and off with this magic wand icon. Over here, you've got some basic editing tools like exposure, saturation, or you can kick it out to Photoshop Express to do more extensive touch-ups. But the main thing we wanna look at is back here on the camera screen itself. If you tap this little star icon, you can see what Photoshop camera is really all about. These are all the lenses you can add to your photos, and there are a lot of them. You can add them to your photo for a variety of fun effects, but even better is you can preview them in real time while you're composing the shot. Take your picture, open it up in the gallery, and here you'll see each of the lenses have some variables to fine tune the effect. or switch to a totally different lens using the same base photo. Adobe says the app can analyze the content of the shot, like whether it's a landscape or portrait or whatever, but also make adjustments to the photo based on dynamic range, face regions, and other variables. And even after you've added your effects, you still have access to the basic editing tools and the magic wand. When you're done, hit the share button and you can crop and resize your masterpiece. Then you can choose to send it to outside apps like Instagram or Lightroom, or you can airdrop it, email it, or share it in other ways. And this white button right here lets you save it to your phone. Okay, I think that's enough talk. It's time to show you all the different lenses you can use right now in Photoshop Camera.
Okay, so those are all the lenses. Pretty cool, huh? Wait, what's this button up here? Oh, hey, this is the lens library where you can download even more lenses and add them to the app. And you can manage the order in which they appear. Well, I guess we better take a look at those too. All right, so for real, those are all the different lenses available in Photoshop Camera, at least for today. New ones will be released as time goes on, and you can even try to become a lens creator yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy using Photoshop Camera, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.